Hi everybody, congratulations on your decision to learn to play the recorder. Au Claire de la Lune is a simple three note melody that's fun and easy to learn. If you haven't already done it, head over to makingmusicfun.net to print your own free copy of this recorder solo. To play Au Claire de la Lune, we have to learn three notes. The first one and the easiest one is B. You play it by placing your thumb over the back hole and then your index finger over the top hole. Make sure to cover them all the way, otherwise funny sounds come out. Let's try it out. Listen to it first. Now you try it. Ready? Play. Let's try it one more time. How'd you do? Great. Okay. The second note we learned to play is A. A is played just like B with the thumb and the first finger and then we add the second finger. It sounds like this. You try it with me. Ready? Play. One more time. Ready? Play. Okay, the last note we need to learn is G. G is played with a thumb in the back, first finger, second finger, and third finger. Sounds like this. You try it and make sure that every single finger gets the holes covered all the way. Ready? Go. One more time. Ready? Go. Okay, grab your music. We're going to start to learn to play the song. The first three notes are G's. They're quarter notes. Listen to this. Now you try it with me. Remember? G, thumb on the back, one, two, three in the front. Ready? Play. Ready? Again. Okay, this time we're going to add one more note. It's the A, the fourth note in measure one. So we play G, G, G. Pick your last finger up for A. Listen to this. You try it with me. Ready? Play. How do you do? Great. Let's try measure two now. B half note and then A half note. So B is thumb in the back, first finger. Then after two beats, we change to A for two more beats. Two half notes, two beats each. Listen to this. Ready? Play. Great job. Let's play the first two measures together now. So they sound like this. Okay, it's your turn to try it. Here we go. One more time. Here we go. Ready? Play. Okay, let's move on to measure three. Measure three has four quarter notes in it also. It has a skip moving from G, three fingers in the front and thumb in the back, to one finger in the front and one thumb in the back, B. So it sounds like this. We're just going to try two quarter notes. Picking up these two fingers right here. Let's try G and B together. Two quarter notes. Ready? Play. Again. Go. The next two quarter notes are A's. They sound like this. You try it. Ready? Play. Together they sound like this. You try it. Ready? Play. Good job. Let's try it one more time. Here's the fourth measure. It's a G and it's a whole note. Four beats. Listen to this. You try it. Pretty simple, huh? Ready? Go. Good job. Try it again. Ready? Play. All right, let's try measure three and four. Four quarter notes and then ending with a whole note G for four beats. Listen to this. You try it with me. Ready? Go. Great job. Okay, I think we're ready to try the whole piece. 
You probably noticed that the first four measures and the last four measures are exactly the same. The whole piece sounds like this. Okay, you try it with me. Here we go.